Greetings, beloved hearts of love's eternal presence. It is I, Lord Maitreya, who greet you through Mother Akasha's messenger, Usa, this day. I thank you for your presence with me as I come to discourse with you. Today I would like to talk to you about the light of the Christ. Most of you know and accept the Christ as our beloved Master Jesus the Christ. Most of you know and accept that beloved Jesus, when he was on the earth some 2,000 years ago, was known as Yeshu ben Joseph. And you are aware that Yeshu, when he was 12 years old, came under my care, where he began to study the nature of higher consciousness in the ancient Himalayan mystery school, when I was principal at that time. In the ten years that Yeshu studied in the Himalayan mystery school, Yeshu graduated, having studied and experienced higher states of consciousness. In the mystery schools, this higher state of consciousness was referred to simply as divine consciousness, recognizing the one presence, one power, and one intelligence of God's source, that each were given to demonstrate in their individual lives. Once initiates of the ancient mystery school achieved this state of consciousness, expressing in their individual lives, we referred to this expression as Christ Consciousness, which not only demonstrated the consciousness of the Christ, also demonstrated the presence and the power and the light of the Christ, which we can simply say, as I do today, was the light of the Christ. Now, as the Master himself revealed, all of us, ascended and unascended, we are all individualizations of divine source, or the source of our existence, which is the divine mind and divine heart of our universe, sometimes referred to as the divine mother-father consciousness. Now, since we are all individualizations of the same divine source, we are given to individualize all the qualities, intelligence, power, and love that divine source is. We are all branches of the universal tree of life source. When one begins to awaken to their spiritual nature and begins a course of study and meditation, the greater illumination of our highest nature unfolds and how to achieve that higher nature in the lives we are given since the truths of this greater illumination has not been available in the outer world, seekers of higher truth found their way to the Himalayan Mystery School, where study and sacred knowledge was available. As you have already been informed, the Mystery Schools are closed as the great awakening of the ages must now take place in the outer world. As a result, today there are many wonderful spiritual paths outside the world of religion that are offering many the greater illumination they seek. Now there are many who have awakened now 
to a greater inner presence, power, a greater source of light and love, that they are beginning to experience and demonstrate in their personal lives. One who is upon a chosen path to divine consciousness, which when individualized successfully is referred to as Christ consciousness. Then, as this unfolds, the seeming presence of two powers begins to drop away. For in the enlightened states, one discovers that the true God power or nature and characteristics includes omnipresence, omnipotence, and omniscience as initiates and seekers discover that behind and beyond this world of duality, this world of seeming two powers of good and evil, there is a spiritual world, a spiritual consciousness, and substance and matter that is very capable of becoming spiritualized by the spiritual consciousness that one has attained, thus revealing only one presence, one power, all acting in a state of omniscience, infinite knowingness that has begun to unfold in their lives. Precious hearts, as one discovers these higher truths, one continues to study and learn ways to meditate, to open the way for further enlightenment, and eventually the experience of one power, one presence, one intelligence, and in this discovery is the realization that comes that when one has accomplished this higher consciousness, acting in their lives, comes the deeper realization that the seeming powers in the outer world, seeming powers of limitation, powers of disease become a nun power in the presence of God power or omnipotence. The more an individual comes to experience the one presence, power and intelligence of their own true inner God power, and begins to unleash this in their lives and worlds, all the time remembering the non-power of human appearances, then the seeming power of all those limitations begin to fall away. There is a process here. Christ, precious hearts, is the most exalted state of mind when individualized. Christ is all-knowing, omniscient, that is, and Christ's consciousness recognizes that despite all appearances, in truth, there is but one power expressing eternal and infinite perfection in the presence of joy. Within Christ consciousness itself is the Christ light 
of eternal illumination. Within Christ consciousness comes the full Christ presence and power and eternal wisdom. Christ is a state of consciousness that is intended for all to achieve. Spiritually growing into a state of Christ consciousness is the mission before all of us now. And those of us who have attained this Christ consciousness and completed our service upon the earth have gone on to our freedom life provides us in the ascension. Now, beloved hearts of love, let me be clear. The main purpose of the seventh golden age, your world and the earth, is now just beginning to enter into an age that is to be 12,000 years, is to provide all of us who live in the higher dimensions, who are known to you as ascended masters, great cosmic beings, immortals, avatars. This golden age is for those ascended and those unascended. This golden age allows us who are ascended to turn our attention back to the unascended people of earth and begin to come closer to all of you begin to overlight each of you and guide you to these higher states of consciousness that I am speaking into here. Today, the Ascended Host have many messengers, channels on earth, where we are speaking and communicating directly to people in their chosen spiritual paths. Today, ancient wisdom, formerly taught only in the Himalayan Mystery School, we are teaching through our messengers. And to those who are here, or rather who hear me today, simply said, I urge each of you to seek the light of the Christ. I urge you to think about what the light of the Christ is, some of which I have spoken into today, and your beloved Mother Akasha is certainly teaching, and others of the Ascended Host are teaching. I urge you, through your desire and feeling side of life, through your open minds and open hearts, I urge you to grow a thirst for the light of the Christ. I urge you to hunger for the light of the Christ to begin to grow within each of you. Realize that the light of the Christ includes the all-knowing consciousness of the Christ, the full omnipotent power and presence of the Christ, one that knows and recognizes only perfection. Realize, beloved hearts, this light of the Christ is a radiation, a radiance of the highest frequencies 
and vibrations of divine light, divine love, divine power, divine wisdom, divine perfection. As the light of the Christ is growing inside your minds, bodies, and your feelings, and your heart transitions to become and becomes a reservoir overflowing with the light of the Christ, you yourself, beloved precious hearts, begin to radiate a frequency of this divine light, love, power, presence, and intelligence that is greater than the vibrations of the many limiting appearances in the world and so-called powers. Now sometimes, precious hearts, due to all the disappointments of the outer world, your feeling or your desire side of life are not as strong as they could be. Remember, too, that your personal will, the will to be, the will to dare, and more, and all activities of aspiration and inspiration and determination that is part of will, divine will, all of this is stored in your feeling side of life. Beloved hearts of love, may I impress upon you that the light of the Christ is your future. A future that you will do well to pursue in your present moments. But we must not have a little desire for the light of the Christ. No, no, no. We must grow within ourselves a grand, majestic desire for the light of the Christ. So much so that I can see a change in each of you that you will hunger for the light of the Christ, that you will come to know that the light of the Christ would heal you and come to know how the light of the Christ, working within your beautiful hearts, would bring greater fulfillment into your lives. If you only truly knew that the light of the Christ makes you an untouchable. And this is what Mother Akasha and Jesus Christ and all of us concerned with helping you. We know your destiny is to become an untouchable an untouchable presence of Christ on earth, meaning nothing of the outer world appearances can any longer touch you in any limiting way. This is what it means for the light of the Christ to grow and grow in each of you every day until your presence on earth is an untouchable presence where all the seeming powers of limitation, poverty, and disease no longer touch you. Now, having said all this, I would remind you all that each of you have within you a divine nature. It's embedded within your consciousness. 
and it includes the presence and consciousness of Mother, Father, God. Now the human aspect of you has covered over much of that indwelling presence. Yet through your heart, that presence is now seeking its freedom. And you must greet this magnificent presence of Mother, Father, God within yourself. You know, beloveds, you have all been down here on the earth living in too many incarnations, experiencing the denial of this higher consciousness by living within the lower consciousness of duality, living within a belief in two powers, which illumination every time reveals is a false belief. You, as creator beings, you have been endowed with the power to create. And that includes the power to create everything you believe, even if what you believe is not the truth. Such is the power of creation to make your beliefs the seeming reality and experience to you. Now, to undo all of this historical momentum requires a golden age for divine intervention and assistance to you. And this is why a spiritual path is necessary for each of you. You choose your paths and recognize that spiritual study and meditation are your means to once again be counted on as being those illumined and awake living in the earth realm today. And what I am saying here simply is that upon your spiritual path, whatever is your approach, I urge you to hunger now like you have never before. Hunger for Christ consciousness. Hunger for the light of the Christ to grow within you. This will only be accomplished by spiritual study prayer, and meditation. Do not kid yourselves. You must each make your own application, which means you must apply yourselves. So back to building a greater feeling, a greater will, a greater desire, for the light of the Christ to grow within you now. So here, I encourage you in meditation before you enter the silence activity of meditation for you to commune with the consciousness of Mother, Father that is within you and ask their presence to help grow in you a much greater desire for the light of the Christ. Ask in your meditations that Jesus Christ, myself Lord Madreya, and Mother Akasha, to strengthen and expand your desire for the light of the Christ. Be receptive in your meditations and ask inwardly that the light of the Christ grow in you each day, yet also ask that the desire for the light of the Christ 
be increased in you each day. After you commune inwardly these things, yes, then it is important that you open the door for this divine intervention to help you, to assist you, and you do this by entering into the silence after you commune inwardly, suspending your thoughts, becoming open, still and receptive, for it is in the silence activity of your meditations that all this divine assistance will come to you. Now, day after day, as you enter into meditation with the great desire for the light of the Christ to come inside you and grow and grow, and also that your desire be met with a greater presence of the light of the Christ inside you. We are here to help each of you to this mighty attainment. Beloved Hearts of Love, I urge you to take up this mantra, use it daily, memorize it, and wherever often, whenever often is possible, to speak this mantra inwardly and outwardly with as much feeling as possible. I am the resurrection and the life of the light of the Christ that is growing daily in my mind, body, and feelings. I am the resurrection and the life of the divine frequencies and vibrations of the light of the Christ that are growing in my body now. I am the resurrection and the life of the light of the Christ that is healing my mind, body, and feelings. I am the resurrection and the life of the light of the Christ that goeth before me. I am the resurrection and the life of the light of the Christ that is my protection, my supply, and all that I require each day. I am the resurrection and the life of the Christ, the light of the Christ of all my relationships now. Love the light of the Christ, beloved hearts. Bless all life upon this planet with the fullness of the light of the Christ. Battle not the things and appearances of the outer world. And if any of those appearances get into your body, say to those appearances, Get out of my body now. I am raising my body now to be a temple, the resurrection and the life of the light of the Christ. And this is my truth. Every day, be mindful. This is your new truth. Gain your momentum in declaring these truths. Call upon your feeling side of life and your heart to give you the full feeling of the light of the Christ. You must come, feel, 
to feel, to desire, with all of your hearts, the light of the Christ. I remind you, that is Yeshu ben Joseph's personal mentor and teacher in the Himalayan Mystery School. I am very confident in my ability to assist each of you. Call upon us in this way. Lord Maitreya, Mother Akasha, and Jesus Christ, I call to you with a heart of immense gratitude that you would come close to me, be with me, overlight me, and assist me to come to know and experience the light of the Christ. This is my destiny, my future, and I dedicate precious moments in my present life to accomplish this divine purpose. This is why I came to the earth at this time and to serve as an untouchable in Christ. This is the mission before me now. I am the resurrection and the life of the light of the Christ, now made manifest in my being and world. Precious hearts, we are all being called to hold our attention upon all of you who will call to us for divine intervention. Now I am not a master of disappointment. I am a golden avatar, and I mean business here. I am a master of divine fulfillment. I am here to serve in this seventh golden age. If you want me, I will come. If you desire my presence in your life, I will come. And I will not disappoint. It is your time to become a lover of Christ, a lover of Christ's consciousness, lover of Christ's light, Christ healing, Christ power, and protection. I am here to serve. And so I ask you, regardless of how long you have been in your body, I ask you, are you ready for the best years of your life? I am, and I am here to serve. And I shall love to observe the light of the Christ growing within each of you. And as I see you make daily effort so desiring that the light of the Christ come alive in you, grow within you, expand in you, so that each of you, the day cometh, when you, your life on earth, you become a sun's presence, a golden sun's presence, that is the light of the Christ, in which that glorious golden sun's presence radiates out from you a thousand feet, a thousand yards, and if you dare, a thousand miles and more. The world is starving for the greatest power the greatest healing presence 
This is the light of the Christ. Yeshu ben Joseph opened the way to make all of this possible for each of you. Desire that you become the light of the Christ. This must not just be a thought. This must become an activity. The light of the Christ, active within your feelings, active within your physical bodies, active within your consciousness. Until you become a glorious son's presence of the light of the Christ, radiating its love and freedom, setting all life free upon this earth. I am ready to help you, to assist your future to come closer to your present moment. Your part, hunger within yourselves for the light of the Christ. Place your attention upon it. Pray for it. Meditate for it. Continue to study and hold this sacred knowledge within your consciousness. For too long you have lived the human consciousness. It is a consciousness that is filled with believing in powers outside of yourself. It is time to stop this nonsense. Because by believing in powers outside of yourselves, your, you and your kind have almost destroyed each other and your planet. Enough is enough. It is time to take the power out of all the seeming appearances in the world and put the power back where it has always belonged. For too long this power has remained dormant, a sleeping giant within each of you. Beloved hearts of love, I say to you, if you have not yet recognized it, the sleeper has awakened. You may delay the presence of the Christ. Yet one day, you must choose that this is the choice of all choices. Long before you will be the light of the Christ, the light of the Christ must grow inside you. You must feed it your love, your attention, your thirst, your heart, and know with certainty this is your future. And provide some time and energy and dedication each time, each day, to draw that future, the light of the Christ, closer to each of you. I remain available to serve you. Beloved hearts of love, namaste. Namaste. Namaste.